But first, here's my take. Donald Trump declared victory in his war with Mexico, of course, though he appears to have won little more than renewed assurances that its government would get tougher on migrants from Central America. But he did achieve one thing with his bullying behavior by threatening tariffs that are likely in direct contravention of trade rules. The tariffs go on, and I mean it too. He has undermined one of the most impressive American foreign policy achievements of the last three decades, the transformation of relations with Mexico. For much of its modern history, Mexico saw itself as a developing country that was oppressed by its high-handed imperialist neighbor. From the Mexican perspective, America's relations with it were characterized by exploitation and annexation. Through war and intimidation, the United States took roughly half of Mexico's territory in the 19th century. After that, and well into the 20th century, Washington's approach toward Mexico was usually aimed at protecting the interests of large American corporations, especially its oil companies, that had tried to operate in Mexico with minimal interference from local authorities. All this bred a political climate of defiance and resistance towards Washington that made cross-border cooperation difficult on almost any issue. Then things turned in the 1990s. Mexico went through a series of economic crises in the 80s and 90s and desperately needed help. It began opening up its economy and political system. American firms were doing more business in Mexico and wanted a stable trading partner. Washington began to recognize that the best solution to all the problems across the border, immigration, drugs, violence, was a prosperous, democratic Mexico. Mexico's old anti-Americanism faded into oblivion. The two countries stepped up cooperation on almost all relevant issues, signing the North American Free Trade Agreement and working together on everything from water management to immigration to drugs. Despite all the scorn that Donald Trump has heaped on Mexico, consider this its most radical and left-wing president in a generation, Andres Manuel López Obrador, has responded like a grown-up, saying the Mexican government is a friend of the U.S. government. AMLO, as the Mexican president is known, is himself Mexico's response to Trump. In 2016, AMLO was polling at only around 25 percent. As Trump took office and continued his Mexico bashing, AMLO labeled him a neo-fascist and even published a book titled Listen Trump. And then last July, AMLO won with a staggering 53% of the presidential vote. So Mexico now has a radical socialist at its helm, and it's in no small measure thanks to the nasty and derisive rhetoric of Donald Trump. But even AMLO recognizes that as Mexico's president, he has to make nice with Washington. The country, however, feels freshly humiliated and reformers are in retreat. As a former senior Mexican diplomat, Jorge Guajardo wrote in Politico, all our old suspicions are confirmed. The United States is not a friend. The United States is out to get us again. We are back to where we were before NAFTA. Guajardo points out that Mexico could stop cooperating on a host of issues that affect Americans. Mexicans see the drug trade, for example, as one created by American demand, financed by American cash, and fought with American guns. And yet Mexican police die every month trying to stop this trade. The Mexican government has tried to stem migration to the U.S. from Central America and cooperates closely with the U.S. on this, even though the level has become unmanageable for both Mexican and American authorities. The two peoples, Mexicans and Americans, are now deeply intertwined economically, politically, and culturally. The relationship between Mexico and the United States could be a unique example of cooperation under very difficult conditions. But all that would require a different American president. For more, go to CNN.com slash Farid and read my Washington Post column this week.